Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eric Pierce to introduce our host, William Flynn. Welcome to our show, a programme that fits any room of your house. A programme starring James Lavery, Muriel Hard and... Uh, oh, I forgot, I don't see. Anyway, Flynn, what's in? Oh, his own spectacular arrangement of that one-time current affair, The Girl I Left Behind Me. a man about a song. James Lavery. Hello, Eric. I've got one here about a girl. Anyone I know? Her name is Mary. The sweetest name I know. And she's the one that I will love forever and a day. Contrary to other girls I've met, and that is why I love her when brunette has turned to grey. As side by side at eventide, we watch the sun descending, I realize the day I die to love. Oh. 
Now, Mr. Flynn, may I have a word with you? I see by my program notes that you're to play Cholito Lindo. What on earth shall I say about that? Don't say anything, Eric. Just listen. Thanks. <laughs>
Well, that was a very nice arrangement, Bill Flynn. Pardon me, Eric. Why, Muriel Howard. May I have a word? No, Muriel, but I'll let you have a song. What's it be? It's a grand night for singing. Any night would be that with you, Muriel. <laughs> Right here, we're doing a number composed and arranged by the Flynn part of the show, Black Velvet. You'll like it.
Let me black Bill. Posed and arranged by our conductor, William Flynn. Nice work, Bill. Now, what's happened to James Lavery? I'm here, Eric. Hello, Jimmy. Tell us some more of your affair with that girl, Mary. Certainly, Eric. Love walked right in and drove the shadows away. Love walked right in and brought my funniest thing. One magic moment and my heart seemed to know that love said hello. trellis of sun-grown pines, a horse and rider, and below them a bowl of beauty. From the Grand Canyon Suite by Ferdy Grothe, William Flynn's arrangement of On the Trail.
Well, now, trailing the growth A number, an Australian song with which we close the show. James Lavery, Muriel Howard, and her male following sign off with Reverie at Sunrise. You're my Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's about all for now. This is Eric Pierce saying cheerio on behalf of James Lavery, Muriel Howard, and our host, William Flynn. The program was produced by Alf Potter and directed by Cedric Zahara. Shall we get together again shortly? Your timekeeper and tune caller, introducing William Flynn and the orchestra, romantic tenor James Lavery, charming Muriel Hard, and the Esquires in the happiest half hour between now and this time next week. In typical style, William Flynn and the orchestra start the ball rolling with a fast showpiece, String Capation.
was syncopation. Speedy, wasn't it? And if it was a bit too much for the blood pressure, we'll see if James Lavery can help with something quietly romantic. Who's the lady this time, James? Her name is Alice. And where's Blue, no doubt? And where's Blue? Well, with William Flynn and the orchestra, James Lavery sings of Alice Blue Guard. She first wandered down into town. She was both proud and shy as she felt every eye and then every sharp window she trim. Thank you, James Lavery. There's a lovely old traditional air that bears the title of Fooled by My Violets. It's redolent of old London, of cobblestones, of peaceful days and simple ways. Well, maybe all this simplicity was a little too much for William Flynn's modern soul, for he's taken that air and rearranged it for the days and ways of this year. Maybe you'll detect a rumba rhythm in it. <laughs>
When our director was detailing this programme, he said to me, when the boys are finished with Who Will Buy My Violets, we'll call on Muriel Howard for one kiss. We will, I said. Now look here, young fellow, don't you butt in on my province. OK, he said. Will you call on Muriel for one kiss? And then he looked at me in that funny way of his, and he said, oh, by the way, Herbert Pettifer, our orchestra leader, is going to help her. Spiteful fellow, our director. One kiss, one man to save it for. Well, of all the crazy titles they give to tunes these days, that merry little piece of Edward White's was called Runaway Rocking Horse. Voici quelque chose de nouveau, Monsieur Jacques Lévry Varchante, Souvenir de Paris. Now, what in the world's the matter with you? Well, now, there's gratitude for you. Here I read that you're going to sing a little French song. I give you a nice atmospheric introduction, and you just... My dear man, I'm going to sing Souvenir de Paris. 
which is about as French as your accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's the latest Tin Pan Alley success, and here it is. <laughs> Thank you, James Lavery. And now, from Paris to South America, for an opus from Harry Dargy and the Esquires. It's called Quanta Augusta, and seems to be a wild appeal that they have to go somewhere. We gotta get going, where are we going and what are we gonna do? We're on our way to somewhere, the three of us are new. What'll we see there, who will be there, what'll be the big surprise? They may be senoritas with dark and flashing eyes, we're on our way. Pack up your pack, and if we stay, we won't come back. How can we go? We haven't got a dime, but we're going, and we're gonna have a happy time. Someone said they just came back from somewhere A friend of mine that I don't even know He said there's lots of fun if you can get there If that's the case, do do That's the place to do The place we want to go We gotta get going Where are we going and what are we gonna do? We're on our way to somewhere The three of us and you What'll we see there? Who will be there? What'll be the big surprise? They may be senoritas with dark and flashing eyes. I'll take a train. You take a boat. I'll take a plane. You ride the boat. For oh, we don't care. We'll either walk or climb. But we're going and we're gonna have a happy time. Bravo, and thanks, Holly Dargie and Esquires. And in anticipation, thanks to William Flynn and the orchestra for an outstanding arrangement of David Rose's Poinciana.
With not a care in the world, with not a cloud up above, William Flynn and the orchestra, Muriel Howard, the Esquires, and James Lavery join to give us Irving Berlin's Blue Skies. <laughs> Until the same time next week, it's goodbye from William Flynn and the orchestra, from charming Muriel Howard, Harry Dargy and his esquires, from romantic tenor James Lavery, and from your timekeeper and tune caller, Eric Pierce. The show was produced by Alfred Potter and directed by Cedric Zahara. that Father Time describes as the pause that refreshes. 30 minutes with William Flynn and the orchestra, romantic tenor James Lavery, Muriel Howard, Holly Dargy and the Esquires, and your timekeeping tune caller, Eric Pierce. <laughs> David Rose is in the limelight as our show opens with his spirited number that makes the violinists think they burned overtime before they start. William Flynn and the orchestra give us and take a holiday for strings. <laughs> Thank you. 
Gara, and look who's here now. If it's not that fellow James Lavery with a faraway look to his eye and a romantic song to his tongue, I'll warrant. Who is she now, James? I'll be naming no names, but I'll just be after telling you that my girl's an Irish girl. Thank you, James Lavery. <clears throat> well, it's showtime. Our showman is William Flynn. With his unique arrangement of an old sweet number, he shows off his orchestra in a showpiece that you'll recognize as Moonlight Madonna. <laughs>
thank you, showman William Flynn. And welcome, musical sweetheart Muriel Hyde. Thank you for your kind welcome, sir. May we hear it in song? Would an Italian street song fill the bill? Perfectly. <laughs> It was not a classical arrangement of Ding That the Singing Cat. It was Peter and the Wolf, from which delightful tone picture that miserable feline stole a few brief moments of limelight. But uh, let's not cry over spilt milk. We welcome back to the microphone romantic tenor James Lavery. With William Flynn on the orchestra, he sings Among My Souvenirs. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you, James Lavery. From the mystic east he came, to the west he appealed. He had pearls and girls, but he couldn't do the rumba. The Maharaja of Magador. There's a rich Maharaja of Magador. A big reward, a big reward. So to his daddle do daddle do daddle do daddle do daddle do Which means take my rubies and take my pearls, take my camels and take my girls. Rumba lessons are wanted for the rich Maharaja of Magador. So a slick little chick answered, that's for me. To the ad he had placed in variety. When she saw his expanse, she could tell at a glance that he'd never learned how to do the rumba. He had his wealth, he had his wealth, he had his health, he had his health. And so we da do da do da do da 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 Which means take my rubies and take my pearls, take my camels, I'll keep my girls. From now on you'll be working for the rich Maharaja of Magador. <laughs> he was anxious to learn, so she taught him right. But she taught him the thrill of a moonlit night. He discovered the bliss of a half-promise kiss, but he never learned how to do the rumba. And on the day, and on the day, she went away. She went away. You could hear do 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 She took his rubies and took his pearls, took his camels and took his girls, took his money and what is more, she took the Maharaja of Magador. <laughs> Bravo and thank you, Esquires. Well, after that little spell of foolery, let's quieten down to a tete-a-tete -tete and tea for two. Did I say quieten?
Brilliant arrangement, William Flynn. Likewise, a performance gentleman of the orchestra. Well, they team up again with James Lavery, Muriel Hard, the Esquires, to bring you the title number of a great film, One Night of Love. saying au revoir now for seven days, when again time will be refreshed with half an hour from William Flynn and the orchestra, James Lavery, Muriel Hard, and Holly Dargy and the Esquires, with Eric Pierce keeping the time and calling the tune. The show was produced by Alfred Potter and directed by Cedric Zahara. Show. Come aboard the Minute Hand and travel to the opposite side of Clockface on a melody packed journey with William Flynn and the orchestra, Max Blake, Dorothy Kayford, Hurry Dargy and his esquires, and your guide, Morris Callard.
That spirited exhibition by William Flynn and the orchestra was a new arrangement of the Negro melody, Liza. <laughs> you know, there's no doubt about James Lavery. He does like to act his songs, even puts on costume and makeup for them. Right now, he's wearing a tight trousered cutaway suit in livid check tonings, a, a bowler hat a half size too small, a handlebar moustache, and side whiskers. Twirling a malacca cane in one hand and fumbling with a heavy gilt watch with the other, he strikes an attitude to sing that gay 90s ballad, Sweet Sixteen. <laughs> When first I saw the love light in your eyes, I dreamt the world fell not but joy for me. And even though we drifted far apart, I never I see no reason why we shouldn't make this show as much for the kiddies as for those other members of the race, the tax gatherers and human beings. So in this program we propose to introduce a fairy story, all about a nice family of bears who had to spot a bother about their porridge. Hurry Dargy and the Esquires have the children at their knees for this act. Once upon a time, in a neat little cottage, there were three bears. The one was a daddy bear, the one was a mama bear, and one was a little wee bear. When they were out of walking through the deep woods and stalking, came a little girl with blonde hair. Now her name was Goldilocks, and upon the door she knocked. But no one was there. So she walked right in and had herself a time cause she didn't care. But soon she got sleepy and went to bed upstairs when... Home, home, home came the three bears. Someone's been tasting my porridge, said the daddy bear. Someone's been tasting my porridge, said the mama bear. Hey, Barbary bear, said the little wee bear. Someone has broken my chair. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said the daddy bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said the mama bear. Hey, Barbary bear, said the little wee bear, he's the girl who's broken my chair. Just then, Goldilocks woke up, woke up, the party and beat it out of there. Bye-bye, bye-bye, said the daddy bear, goodbye. Bye, said the mama bear. Hey, Barbary bear, said the little wee bear, so ends the story of the three bears. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just then, Goldilocks woke up, woke up the party and beat it out of there. Bye bye, bye bye, said the daddy bear. Goodbye, goodbye, said the mama bear. Bear, 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 bear said the little wee bear. So ends the story of the three bears. Now, children, don't go out in the woods tonight, or the bears will get you. Bear, 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 bear said the little wee bear. So ends the story of the three bears. Daddy bear, mommy bear, baby bear, three bears. <laughs> thank you, Esquires. On behalf of all us children, I thank you. Well, back to the adults again, bless them. And here's a pleasant slice of advice for you all. From that bright show, Sonny, William Flynn and the orchestra suggest you look for the silver lining. a much younger man than that fellow Eric Pierce who you've heard comparing the show, I can really put romance into this announcement. Uh, Judy Graham? Yes, Morris? I know James Lavery is going to be close to you when you sing this duet. That's right. But that doesn't mean a thing, does it? Not a thing. And uh, you'll be singing about a dream lover. That's right. And you won't be thinking about James Lavery? Not a thing. Who will you be thinking of, Judy? Eric Pierce. Pierce. Dream lover, fold your arms around me. Dream lover, your romance has found me. I'm held in your spell, knowing so well.
how'd you like the new uniform those British grenadiers were wearing? William Flynn was responsible for the design, and his boys tailored them nicely, I thought. Now, where's James Lavery? Come here, James, while I tell our friends the news I promised them. Ladies and gentlemen, James is going back to the footlights and grease paint. That's why I threw the call boy gag at him a little earlier. James, on behalf of the gang, I want to say it's been grand having you with us over the past three months. I want to say good luck for your return to the theatre, and I want to say we'll look forward to having you with us again sometime. Thank you, Morris. Thank you all very much. I've enjoyed working with the show more than any of you'll ever know. And I'd like to make my final number, one I sang in the early days of the programme, I Wonder Who's Kissing Her Now. Thank you, James Lavery, and good hunting. Uh-oh, here come the wolves, dressed in natty suitings. Those four pirates of the pavement with an eye to every point of the compass, looking for trim craft. Those masters of moronic melody, Hori Dargy and his esquires. And the burden of their whistle is, ooh, look at there, ain't she pretty? <laughs> She's a beauty. Look at the hair, look at the curls, look at the teeth, look at the pearls. Ooh, look at that, ain't she pretty? She looks like a beautiful wax doll. And you are bound to fall. I like of the dress, I like of the hose, I like of the hat and when you get on that post. Look at that, ain't she pretty? Ooh, look at that, ain't she pretty? Ooh, look at that, she's a beauty. Look at the hair, hey. look at the curls, look at the teeth, teeth. look at the pearls. Ooh, look at that, ain't she pretty? Pretty as a picture, baby. She looks like a beautiful wax doll. And you are bound to fall 
Now I like the dress. I like the hose. I like that hat. Would you get on that pole? Ooh, look at that ancient pretty. Ooh, look at that ancient pretty. Well, after that exciting expression of the pursuit of pulchritude, I hesitate to intrude with the sobering thought of symphony. But intrude I must to introduce William Flynn and the orchestra in a melodic arrangement of Going Home from Vorjak's New World Symphony. <laughs> Irving Berlin wrote it. We arranged it for Judy Graham and James Lavery. Harry Dargy and his esquires liked it so much they decided to join it. And so with the entire ensemble, we present Irving Berlin's romantic and tuneful number, What'll I Do?
30 melody pack minutes have passed. This is Morris Callard making a promise that in seven days' time he'll call the tune again for William Flynn and the orchestra, charming Judy Graham, Harry Dargy and his esquires, and for his first appearance with the William Flynn show, Max Blake. The programme was produced by Alfred Potter and directed by Cedric Zahara. Show. Come aboard the minute hand and travel to the opposite side of Clockface on a melody packed journey with William Flynn and the orchestra, Max Blake, Dorothy Cayford, Hurry Dargy and his esquires, and your guide, Morris Callard. Eight notes, just eight notes. Multiply by 25 players. Add the conductor, the arranger, and the composer, and the answer is a lively little piece to open our show, Fireflies. An ordinary mortal is known by the company he keeps, but a band leader is known by his signature tune. Until just a short while ago, that tuneful melody, Moonlight Serenade, was the signal for millions of fans to prick up their ears and light up their eyes and gasp rapturously, Glenn Miller. Yes, it was the popular Glenn Miller's signature tune. And without any attempt at forgery, we present Mary Lander Max Blake with William Flynn and the orchestra in Moonlight Serenade. I stand at your gate And the song that I sing is of moonlight I stand and I wait For the touch of your hand in the June light 
the roses are sighing, a moonlight serenade, the stars are aglow, and tonight how their light sets me dreaming, my love, do you that your eyes are like stars brightly gleaming I bring you and sing you a moonlight serenade let us stray till break of day in love's valley of just you and I, a summer sky, a heavenly breeze, kissing the trees. So don't let me wait, come to me tenderly in the June night, I stand. And I sing your song in the moonlight, a love song, my darling, a moonlight Thank you, Max Blake. And now, Mr. Conductor, a forecast, please. Hmm, sounds like stormy weather. But you know what these pessimistic amateur weather prophets are? are always having deep depressions, instead of being optimistic and singing in the rain.
We carry on that cheerful note with a wide grin and an outstretched hand for a newcomer to the William Flynn Show. And the newcomer, Dorothy Kayford, replies to our welcome with a smile and a song.
brilliant, dazzling, flashing, colourful. How did that speedy trifle strike you? Brief in its visit as a bird of passage should be, its composer calls it simply the parrot. As our ship of melody casts off from the land of humdrum, as the sun sinks in the east, as the golden moon peeps up above the western horizon, we take you to far away places. Our singing cameraman is Max Blake. Far away places with strange sounding names. Far away over the sea. Those far away places with the strange sounding names are calling, calling me. Go to China or maybe Siam. I want to see for myself those far away places I've been reading about in a book that I took from a shelf. I start getting restless whenever I hear the whistle of a train. I pray for the day I can get underway and look for those castles in Spain. They call me a dreamer. Well, maybe I am, but I know that I'm burning to see those far away places with the strange sound and names calling. So we say farewell to... Uh, okay, okay, I quit. Now, where's Hori Dargy and his esquires? Over here, Murray. Right, boys, now you know the rules. Sure, sure, yeah. When you hear the gong, come out from your corners and come out singing. Come on along and listen to the lullaby of Broadway. There's a rain and valley who the lullaby of Broadway. The band begins to go to town and everyone goes crazy. You rock a bayou, baby, round till everything goes hazy. Hush, come on, I'll buy you this and that. You hear a daddy saying, and baby goes home to her flat and sleeps all day. Milkman's on his way. Sleep tight, baby. Sleep tight. Let's call it a day.
songs to sing. There's no such thing as spring. I love but you. Come on along, come on along and listen to the lullaby of Broadway. The hip parade, the ballyhoo lullaby of Broadway. The clatter of the subway trains, the rattle of the taxis. Sophisticated ladies who entertain at Angelo's. The taxis when a Broadway baby says goodnight, it's three o'clock in the morning. And babies don't sleep tight until the dawn. Goodnight, baby. Goodnight, milkman's on his way. Milkman, Good keep night, those bottles quiet. Baby. Good night, let's call it a day. So good night, let's call it a day. Listen to the lullaby of old. old With a salutation to Eric Coates for giving so much to the world of music, William Flynn and the orchestra present one of his most appealing light melodies, Sleepy Lagoon.
Well, we've certainly gone places since that parrot set the mood after the interval. Max Blake took us to faraway places, the Esquires took us to Broadway, the orchestra found us a sleepy lagoon, and now the complete company, the full ensemble, in short, the whole gang take us beyond the blue horizon. Beyond! Beautiful day. Goodbye to things that bore me. Joy is waiting for me. I see a blue horizon. My life is only just. from now we'll be with you again so till then it's over from William Finn and the orchestra Max Blake Dorothy Kayford Harry Darkey and his esquires and your tune caller Morris Keller the show was produced by Alfred Potter and directed by Cedric Sahara